is how a historic all-black female Mississippi high school football officiating crew was put together. Adrian Barnes is set to make history. Entering her 19th year officiating youth and high school sports in Mississippi, Barnes will be the lead official when Murrah opens the high school football season against Cleveland Central at 7.30 p.m. Friday at South Jackson Field. However, that's not the historic part of week one for MHS AA football as Mississippi High School Athletic Association football. It's the 11 other women joining her, her on the crew. Friday's matchup will feature the first all-female crew to officiate high school football in the state. The game will also feature all black women, which could be a nationwide first. Let me read that again. Friday's matchup will feature the first all-female crew to officiate a high school football game in the state. The game will also feature that same crew would be all black women, which will officiate this game. It might That might be a nationwide first. All right, Barnes, who will be the lead official once again, will be joined on the field by Sarah Fleming, Sherry Vaughnins, Fran Adams, Felicia Davis, Alona Alexander, Dominique Sutton, along with clock operators Felicia Cotton and Constance Clark. And chain crew would be Tamika Lipsley, Tamika Morris, and Charmaine Smith. Man, that is amazing. I mean, that's from top to bottom. The whole crew, officiating crew, period. The whole crew, everybody in the box, on the chains, on the field. Everybody is going to be, it's going to be an all-black female crew. It's amazing. Um, And it's overwhelming at the same time, Barnes said. It means a lot to me having been around for 19 years and going through different excuses for women not to be not being on the field to seeing an all female crew is absolutely amazing. She said this. This is our first time working all together on the field. We've we've all known each other. We've worked together in other sports, but never on the field. Typically, they never have more than one female on the field. That's what Barnes said. The officiating crew is comprised of women from across the state. Five of the officials are from the Jackson area, while Fleming is from Brookhaven and Davis from North Mississippi. This is something I think Coach Prime might jump on. All right. Am I am I tripping? This something is right there in Jackson area. I'm sure he's going to invite those five officials to do something, have some type of affiliation with Jackson State. Watch what I tell you. All right. Barnes, that lead official, uh, held a Zoom meeting with the crew two or three times a week since July when the plans were finalized by Mississippi High School Football Association or High School Athletic Association. Officials, um, a signer, officials, a signer, Curtis Lowe. That's his name, not Curtis Blow, but Curtis Lowe. I'm thinking about uh, basketball. This is my favorite sport. I like the way they dribble up and down. All right. (laughs) All right, off topic. But once again, man, that is a great accomplishment. Um, as I said again, uh, but her official uh, assigner, which was Curtis Lowe, the crew has worked several preseason scrimmages together. However, each official will return to their respective crew the following week, according to Lowe. All right, that's this is an amazing story. Once again, Mississippi. Uh, stepping up and leading the nation maybe in this. we got to do a fact check on that. Barnes, who grew up playing football, basketball, and baseball with her older brothers and continued to have a love for athletics. However, it wasn't until a challenge from her son that she got involved in officiating. He was six or seven years old, and I was fussing at an umpire on the field. She said, he said, they have a really hard job. I bet you won't do it. That's what her son said to her. That's a challenge right there. Barnes started to focus on putting together an all-female crew last fall. There have been all-female crews all over um, over the last year in Oregon and Texas. The Oregon crew sparked conversations between Barnes and Lowe about that opportunity in Mississippi. It is not known if the Oregon and Texas crews were the first all-female high school crews in the country or if there has ever been an all black female crew entering this season from everything that we've put together and gathered from the national federation of state high school associations we feel like that this is the first time that there's been a crew of of all black female officiating crew in high school football period especially in mississippi that's what assistant director greg freeman said i think it goes to show that we don't discriminate against 
anyone. That's what <laughs> that's what he said about <laughs> Mississippi has a long history of that. But hey, this is a great step in the right direction. All right. Let me know what you think about this story, man. All black female crew coming together. I mean, from top to bottom, head to toe, like on the field, off the field, chain crew, whatever. They're all black females and they're calling a high school football game. I wonder how the game turned out. They don't have any write up on that. That'll be a good thing to look up. All right. Let me know what you think, man. I'm out to stay in peace in the Middle East. Yeah, yo.